Tom's Top 5. Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Top 5 this weekend. It's the calm before the Cheltenham Festival storm. Hopefully coronavirus won't ruin everyone's fun and Cheltenham Festival will go ahead. But first up, we've got the Greatwood Gold Cup meeting at Newbury this weekend. And I've got a couple of fancies who I think are gonna take the beating, including Le Rocher in the Veterans Chase. This is a very smart horse on his day. A former grade one winner who had the world at his feet for some time, but injury intervened. However, he's come back to his best in his last couple of starts in handicap company. I can see him taking all the beating as a 10 year old in his Veterans Chase for Nick Williams. He's a very smart horse on his day. And I think he's gonna prove too much a few of these who perhaps are feeding it in their legs as they get older. I think Le Rocher in the Veterans Chase is going to be very hard to beat. In the Greatwood Gold Cup, keep an eye on Bag's Groove. This horse again used to be very smart in his prime, but has had problems with injury as well. However, he's had a wind operation now for Harry Fry and I can see him bouncing back to his very best here. He actually looks on quite a good mark, I think, and if he's fit enough and gets to a good enough rhythm in his jumping, I think it would be very hard to beat. He's probably better than some of these and I think he can take all the beating in the Greatwood Gold Cup. Now there's also racing up at Kelso in Scotland and I'm looking forward to seeing Clondor Caitlin in the Premier Novice Hurdle for Ruth Jefferson. This filly is on a serious upward curve, she's won her last three and I don't know where, when the ceiling of her ability actually is because she won so easily last time. Now, her rating, she's got a bit, little bit to find with some of the principles, but she gets a weight allowance, and I think that's going to make all the difference here. She's a very smart horse in the making, and I think this kind of race is going to really suit her. The race conditions are actually ideal, and she'll be very difficult to beat. The Premier Novices Hurdle, now in the Premier Listed Chase, also at Kelso. I think Top Notch is the one to catch. Obviously, we all know about Top Notch. He's competed in some much better races than this in the past, and this is a serious drop in grey for Nicky Henderson's chaser. Uh, hopefully that he can take advantage of this. Yes, it is slightly further than he might perhaps want, but in this kind of company, hopefully it won't make too much difference, and I can see Top Notch going very close indeed here. Finally, in the Grimthorpe chase up at Doncaster, a real slog awaits us, and that should suit now McGinty down to the ground. This is a proper stayer. I love the way that he runs. He always goes from the front, and his second to Santini, earlier in the season now looks very strong form. Yes, he bottomed out of it in the Welsh Grand National last time out. I think he's much better than that. And that race can often be a bit deceiving in terms of how horses run. He was never really going from early stage. And I think this is slightly easier company and slightly shorter trip should suit him down to the ground. And he's on a very good mark based on that early form at Sandown. When, as I say, he was beaten by Santini in second. Hopefully we've got some winners there for you this weekend. Just some horses to look out for uh, who might not have been seen on the track for a while, but still have plenty of potential in their hooves. And I can't wait to see them all in action at Newbury, Kelso and Doncaster. Yes, it's not the greatest weekend in the world, but there's still some nice good racing to look forward to. And hopefully you can line your betting bags ahead of the Cheltenham Festival in a couple of weeks' time. Best of luck to you all, and I'll see you all soon. Love it. Love it. Love it.